Sir, namaste to all. I am Supraja, the University Coordinator from SRM Institute of Science and Technology. So, after attending UHV Introductory and UHV 2 and regular weekly meeting attending, I felt this UHV is really helping me to understand my existential question, which I had for many years. And I am trying to seeking answers through this. And it helped me to see the level of interconnectedness, like self, human-human relationship and human nature, mutual fulfillment. So I went and told to my IR hubs and Dean Sir and to about this program and how it is helping me. And he said, uh, he gave a complete freedom for uh, freedom and support to initiate this value education cell in SRM Institute. And with all their support, we initially started with the faculty awareness program in all the departments. And we went to every department to say the faculties about this program and how it is helping out. And through this, we have organized few introductory FDP and UHP to self-funded FDPs. And a good number of response we received. And almost in a year time, 780 plus faculties have completed. Slowly, we expanded this UHV course in the, all the disciplines of ENT, SNH, uh, medical unit also. We have implemented this UHV courses and in the all campuses. And we focused on team development. Uh, we conducted weekly meetings. And through this team development, we found good amount of volunteers. So around 50 volunteers are there in SRM. In that, at least 15 volunteers are very active. Then we come up with the discussion about this MDP proposal to our Dean Sir and he told go ahead and organize it and we felt it is a right time to organize MDP and we felt there are a good number of faculty volunteers and they themselves has come to take up the roles. We didn't make any compulsion or mandatory. So this is how we come up with this MDP plan. And the procedures and application was little simple. It's same as how we apply for this FDP. We apply through the form. And this, uh, this whole slide, we're going to see about how this MDP helped to, to integrate these human values at XRM. And this is the statement from our vice chancellor that he want to see himself, he want to see the SRM as self-disciplined. So the purpose and the uh, program is to share the the purpose is to share the vision of holistic value based education and the crucial role of universal human value and this is my ndp is mainly to assist srm in developing its plan and program for uhp and this holistic based value based education and the whole program we had the overview of core content of uhv the glimpse of work we have done so far and its future potential and tutorials, this really helped. Day one, we do have a uh, day one, we do have an assignment, and that is completely focused on the self part, list of desires, how much is for right understanding, how much is for right feeling, how much uh, desire required the physical facility, and it's all about um, uh, self part. And day two assignments as fully focused on relationship part how much of time you're spending for right understanding and right feeling and conversation with every people, how much we time spend for develop this right understanding. So those are the kind of assignments we have and those are related to one's life. And this assignment helped to, to reinforce the score content. And also this final assignment, we do have 15 session offline and last uh, session was planned by uh, online session that assignment three was mainly focused to develop the plans and programs for UHP and holistic quality based education at SRM. And MDP was a process uh, to initiate the dialogue and strengthening the self exploration process. These are the uh, photo glimpses. Um, uh, initially, when we there was a challenge after this approval of MDP, there was a challenge in enrolling this higher officials. We sent a mail every day from UHV. There was a mail, and it's just like one another mail. The response was not that great. So we, the UHV volunteer team, as went and spoke to every deans and directors and HODs. We didn't see their positions. We felt there is a, another self is just similar to us longing to understand their self. So with the feeling of relationship, we went and spoke 
there was quite a lot of questions from higher ups like why should I attend? Uh, don't you think I know values? Is it necessary for me? Uh, kind of. So this helped ourselves and our team to work on ourselves and observe what kind of feeling we have to answer these kind of question. So uh, after explaining for some time, uh, most of the IR official felt this is something I should attend. And 96 uh, deans, directors and head of the departments have enrolled. Almost it is a covering 80% of our uh, deans and directors and 81 turned up. And uh, out of this, 76 has attended for whole three days. So this is actually more than what we expected. And uh, when everyone um, came, we, we felt whether they are comfortable enough to sit in the floor. But it was really good. They really mentioned, they mentioned that it was very comfortable and uh, they didn't feel anybody felt with their position. And there was a lot of discussion. Initially, we thought, will there be interaction? But there was a lot of discussion, observation and sharing and it was interactive. And we could notice that there is a longing to understand their self. And there is also a struggle to see the reality with the conditions which they had. So this was the discussion part had and sharing sessions we had. And this is the UHV volunteer team post FDP for a post MDP session in the evening. We do have the volunteer team discussion. And this is Kumar Baya and Rajul Baya was taking a sessions on the MDP. And this is the whole crew who have attended this MDP, all our deans, directors, HODs, around uh, 76 people. And the final online assignment, assignment pre was uh, uh, was a focus, was very helpful to uh, this. Personally, we met everyone in the small groups. In total, we have 15 groups. That is seven ENT group, two uh, admin group, two medical group, as well as four SNH group. Well, it, it, there was a three weeks gap for this assignment. We went, all the UHV volunteers met all the small groups in the groups and um, they were asking so many questions to get the clarity on the content and wanted to understand. So every, at least we, we met every group three to four times on the discussion. So first, assign, the, the last session was happened like uh, 40 minutes takeaway of uh, 15 groups and 40 minutes discipline wise uh, consolidated vision and plan and observation from our UHV cell and national team has given come up with a recommendation for this UHV uh, develop holistic value based development and finally we had an address from our vice chancellor for 20 minutes. So the assignment one assignment uh, first session day uh, assignment three se session one was about what is the UHV MDP? What write about this UHV MDP in your own words? List down five key takeaway from the core content, which uh, includes some specific real life incidents where you could explore, uh, where you could indicate your exploration and interesting indi uh, incidents that took place during this MDP and any other sharing. So these are the some of the takeaways I have highlighted here, uh, shared by a few of our deans, directors and head of the departments. Director International uh, Relationship, Dr. Mohan sir, has come up with, he, he mentioned that a true balance between needs and desire was known. The true meaning of happiness, I realized after the session that happiness is driven internally, nothing to do with the outside. If it is if it is from the outside, he felt it is a, not an happiness, it is an excitement. And he said he understood the difference between the self and the body and lack of competence he could able to see that he has a lack of competence and he, he he has mentioned his relationship with his wife and the children is getting better and also um, he, he used to criticize or blame people when the work is not done he may immediately get angry so after this fdp he mentioned one incident then one day when his driver called him that he is getting late to the work he said no issues you come I will take my car to the office. You can directly report to the office. And later when the driver came and meet him, he asked, why did you, uh, why did you, why were, why you were late? Then driver mentioned that his daughter is not feeling well and he, he took his daughter to the hospital. There it was little time. So he said, before if, if you watch me, I would have scolded him. But now I started asking questions, what happened instead of judging them. So this was mentioned by director Mohan, sir. 
and second this is our dean gopal sir dean engineering and technology in his key takeaway he told understood how accumulation of physical facilities has impact the society and nature and complementing is better than competing because usually he felt that we we are creating a competition in in the inside this institution so he wants to develop as a complementary activity rather than competing and he may also mentioned many cases he used to uh, work on preconditional mindset so he said i want to work on this minimizing this preconditioned mindset to resolve this issue and anupama the assistant director of international aware she mentioned my daughter was hurt when i was playing uh, while playing uh, it is in her presence when she went back home her my husband mentioned if the same incident would happen in my present how would I, how would anupama ma'am would have reacted so this gave her a clarity how do she judge people on their intention without considering their competence and this is my personal experience in the mdp uh, when after post mdp when i went and uh, gave a sweet box with thank you note to housekeeping apka uh, she said one word every time i used to get lot of uh, sweet box and tea coffee every day i used to get because lot of events happening here and uh, through this event i'll be getting all these uh, but this is all the leftovers leftovers will be given to me but this is the first time somebody has got the sweet box for me and she felt very happy so that time i felt right feeling she is getting physical facility every time but the right feeling is important over this physical facility this is my personal takeaway and pushpalata ma'am hod c tech after this program um, she went to the department she said she doesn't react to the colleagues immediately and she whenever uh, immediately when she has a doubt on intention and she said this significantly uh, she could see the impact that uh, people calling and telling me thanks for understanding ma'am thank you notes and uh, she said i could understand that they are also in some difficult situation if they couldn't able to respond to my messages and she said um, uh, some she started and uh, right evaluating the people and she said when i start tapping faculty members and motivating them i could see some concrete outcome rather than just shouting at them so she said i have decided this practice should be continued uh, for um, for inside this department and steeder sir uh, he is from professor from ctet he said usually i make a fun out of my spouse especially in the group meeting i said it's just a joke if he, he felt is just a joke but he later realized that every one of them have that own self and it is not same as a body and uh, that self will get hurted so this they it felt that the realization of of this relationship is working how nature and society are important for our survival as well and linus martin sir he has mentioned that uh, he was very much fascinated about the topics was transforming the behavior of his few of his colleagues because we felt few into he felt that few individuals who have joined this mdp are very reserved and introvert personality but once this uh, subject is deeper about this understanding the human being he could they could he could see that these people have emerged as an enthusiastic and active participants they not only interacted with the enthusiasm but also they come up with the number of questions which added the depth in the discussion so there was so many so much interaction happened during the work, mdp and john sir he is a dean science he said the affection is not taken for granted he usually sent money to his mom uh, monthly uh, for her mom aged mom after this mdp he felt like he need to make a physical visit to meet his mom and spend some time so this was his take away so this is in the session 1 and session 2 of the assignment is to develop the rational vision and the specific implementation plan of srm so there, there some points has been given to what is the need of understand what is the need of value education at the university develop the uh, vision plan next version of uh, uh, srm and what can the what are the curriculums can be added and what are the posts we can develop what are the non curricular activities actions can be added what are the list of outreach program you can come up with to extend it to the larger order what are the specific measure to gauge this progress and commitment by the administration 
individual level. So this was the assignment given for the session two. It was a group assignment discussion for the 15 groups and come up with the four discipline heads as presented this. And how much of the plan is related to the right understanding uh, and develop the right feeling and how much of the percentage of the plans are related to the physical facility. And our discipline heads as mentioned, the overall plan we will create will be aligned to 40% of developing this right understanding, 40% to the right feeling, and rest 20% will be focusing on the physical facilities. And how this education will help in fulfilling this expectation from the education articulated by the uh, AACT UGC and so on. How this education will help in resolving the present day problem. And this is the um, uh, assignment three question. And our uh, four discipline has presented the university wide plan and recommendation was proposed by our director, international relations, Mohan sir. He mentioned that we will make a progress from value education to value based education and value based living. So we SRM are just in the scratch of the surface that we implemented value education in all the discipline. But in future, we are planning to inculcate this value based in all the curriculum, every syllabus. And uh, we need to inculcate the value education in all the institution and in all the discipline, um, uh, in all the subjects. That is the statement. And incorporate this value based education in the university vision and mission. And even Morgan sir has come up with the statement, a uh, uh, statement where we can revise, and that is in the next slide. And we he, he mentioned we need to strengthen our UHV team. So, dedicated staff member will be appointed, uh, one dean or director will be appointed, university coordinator and UCs are already nominated. And the volunteers, we are pulling in by their own interest. We are not making any kind of mandatory, but we could see a good number of response whenever we say this is the work to be done. People are coming up on their own interest. And LDP program, we are planning to orient for chancellor, pro-chancellor, vice-chancellor, pro-vice-chancellors, register, and other syndicate members. This we are planning in the month of February. And we, we need to develop the evaluation process for the competency and ability. And we do have a counseling cell, counseling cell for all the department we do have. So that counseling cell will be strengthened through this UHV content. And all the faculty advisors should go through this UHV one and two, because the faculty advisor is one who is in connect with the students. One faculty advisor, 30 student was mapped. So they are the one who is going to be with the students for next to four years. So this SIP will be conducted by the faculty members of his classroom. So this will help them to get the better understanding this mentor mentee program for next to four years. So this was the plan. And we plan to conduct one regional and regional conference and one national conference in 2024. And uh, networking with the other universities, the best practice and collective to best practice and collectively promote the human values. And we are um, maintaining the centralized repository for all the UHP activities, resource, important contacts, certification. We do have a web portal for all the UHP web, web activities and we are making it centralized so anybody can see it and any universities can take it as a reference and even some suggestions are welcome. So this was the, uh, this was the plans and recommendation given for the university by Mohan sir. And this was the revised vision and mission statement he recommended uh, to vice chancellor and even he has taken to the chancellor sir to uh, change our university vision and mission statement, which has incorporated the value-based learning experience. And even in the mission everywhere, he has added this value, by how much this value base is going to be important for the uh, thing. And this is the implementation plan come up by ENT and SNH discipline. So they, uh, they come up with UHV will bring a clarity in strengthening their own self-exploration process. And they committed to create a conducive environment. What is the giving the clarity on what is this basic aspiration? And the process, the uh, Dean sir is discussing a lot about how to develop the complementarity rather than this competitive approach. So he recently has cancelled that giving the uh, uh, rankings to the department. He rather than uh, coming up with some other plans and student induction program has been implemented for past two years. UHV one and two sessions are happening and um, this will be continued as per the ACT suggestion. 
few minor degree programs we are planning to initiate. But before that, those minor degree programs, uh, faculty should be trained for such courses. So holistic human health and IKS, Vision for the Human Society, such programs, the faculty to be trained. And uh, we are in a plan to come up with the holistic human education workshop in the month of February. And the senior students who have undergo UHV classes can take some few classes for junior students. And we plan a workshop for all these stakeholders, teaching, non-teaching, parents. And alumni director also attended this workshop, Ratnam sir. He has a plan to organize this FD, uh, this uh, kind of UHV workshop to the alumni. This will help to reinforce um, these values in their own. And course like sustainability development goals are being already added in a curriculum, but that can be strengthened with UHV. And a, a electric vehicle minimizing automobiles inside the campus, food waste and uh, toilets for physically challenged. These are the summer plans and most of the plans has been started. Hackathon pro pro program for students to resolve the problems within the campus, such as coming up with the alternate materials like plastic and food waste. And internship and fieldwork projects uh, related to value-based education initiative is being taken. And health and hygienic program are a little bit focusing on important to develop the right understanding and right feeling. And recently in the canteen, they are planning to introduce all the organic food rather than giving those uh, meat and shawarmas. So that proposal is getting approved now. The waste management, avoid plastic, all these uh, things are already implemented, but we are planning to strengthen that. So this is the plan from the medical team. So medical team has come up with how to incorporate all these UHV courses in the value education. So they said to bridge the school students to first year, we can implement UHV 1 SI during the SIP and IKS 1 in the first year MBBS. And in the, during the second year MBBS, we are going to give a credit um, course for UHV 2. And during, uh, their, uh, uh, during the third year, holistic Holistic Human Health Program, that's in it's a psychology, uh, physiology and practice. This is along with the forensics medicine they are trying to incorporate. And during the final year MBBS, the foundation course in the institutional constitution values and responsibility of physician, um, citizen and human rights will be incorporated. And during the CRI period, human psychology for realizing the full uh, human potential. So every year they are coming up with one course about this UHP and along with the outreach programs and community health activities, they are in the plan. So this is the team who has worked for complete MDP. And uh, we do have upcoming program plans to uh, have a lot of UH in the, uh, currently we are conducting UHP to ACT sponsor UC program. And there was a lot of uh, people interested for this UHV program from our college. So for them, we plan to have one more self-funded UHV introductory to program. And in the February month, this leadership development program and holistic health module has been planned. And for the counseling cell faculty, we are coming up with the refresher course, uh, UHV cell, especially for the counseling cell faculty. These are the plans for the upcoming semester. So the UHV cell is conducting the regular meeting a uh, regular meeting, uh, like a discussion on the content or a course and coordination meeting, how to take this course every week and uh, coming up with the activities and pro project. And we are developing the library and resource center. Already in the online, we have given the list of uh, uh, places where we can download these books and list of journals to be, um, uh, list of uh, videos can be watched, Ganesh by a video. All these we have given, but we are still strengthening getting the materials from our UHV team, I mean national team. Uh, preparing all the faculty and staff, uh, awareness meeting is conducting um, uh, for uh, attending this FDP's morning sessions, weekly meetings. And we wanted to take it to the other stakeholders, as I mentioned earlier. So a close has been implemented and few electives we are planning to give it as a uh, electives initially, minor, instead of uh, going straight away with the minor degree program, one or two program can be given as an elective. Further, it has been, it can be strengthened as a minor degree. And UHB based counseling cell, this or implementation of human health course in the health unit and conduct this impact analysis and the shared outcomes. We are planning to publish as a research uh, reports and uh, to inspire and assist other college in our region to adopt this value education and outreach program to focus on right understanding to, we have adopted 10 schools through UBA 
and they are in collaborate with UHP. So in their schools, we are trying to give this value education to the teachers first and through village or hospital or old age home slum jail, we are in the progress to uh, do such a kind of uh, uh, outreach program and the progress to develop the institution as a living model of holistic value-based education and value-based living. So we are in the progress and there are volunteers coming up to do this face-to-face uh, -face FDPs inside SRM and some of our volunteers working on translation of Tamil language and to develop the self-paced course. So these are the uh, steps we uh, did and there was a, a good outcome through that uh, through this management development program which has happened in our college. I wholeheartedly uh, thank all the resource person, Rajul Bhaiya, Kumar Bhaiya, and the entire uh, team who has worked in the back end and gave the support and the guidance to made it happen. My sincere gratitude to everyone. Namaste. Thank you.